Hey everyone, Nitesh this site. Hope you are doing well. So let's start with the question. So the question is swapping nodes in a linked list. Okay. So you are given the head of the linked list and an integer k. What you have to do? You have to return the head of the linked list after swapping the value of kth node from the beginning and the k node from the end. Okay. And the list is one in, like it's from a one nth index. Okay. So you are given a linked list and you have to swap the two nodes. And basically the values of that. So you have given a kth node. So you have to take the node from the start and you have to take the node from the end and you have to swap both of them. Okay. So let's see with this example. So as you can see, this one, two, three, four, five, and we have k equal to two. So from the start, this is my you can say k equal to two uh, node, and from the last, this is my k equal to node. So we have swapped this four and this two. We this will convert into this linked list okay so let's understand this question with an example okay so let's take this example okay so we have given this list and k equal to 5 so let's write it down like so this is 7 then we have 9 then we have 6 6 7 then so this is the linked list that is given to us so let's say this is our head pointer okay so let's take from k equal to 5. So if we go from this, so okay, so this is the linked list, and let's say we'll give the indices. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so from the beginning, if you go to k equal to 5, so this is your first pointer, and from the last, if you go 1, 2, 3, Four, five. So this is your last k equal to five. So what you have to do, you have to swap these two, and your final linked list will like seven, nine. Then it, this is six. Then this is six. Then you swap this. So eight, seven, three. Then this is zero, nine, five. Okay. So this is just the question that you have to do. So if I go with the name approach, what I can do is I can basically treat them as a array. And after that, I will swap the element and, and then I again convert it into a linked list. Okay. But if we go with that approach, that will take an extra space of array. So let's see how we can remove that extra space. Okay. Okay. So, like with our previous approach, we are taking an extra space. So, let's see how can we remove that extra space. What we can do is like if you can see for this case, this is your first pointer. And for k equal to 2 from the last, it will be our this. So you have to swap this and this. Okay. So what if from the start I can go to this position and from the last, if I can get this position? Okay. How, so if I give the indexes, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Like if I know the tail or the last length of the linked list, I can easily get this position. So let's say this is 5 and I can do 5 minus 2. And basically do plus front so I can get this location and I can swap this but instead like I have to if I need the length of the linked list I need to calculate first length of the linked list then calculate this particular index so if you can see we are going with the two parts like first we calculate the linked list then we calculate this can we do like instead of going uh, by calculating the linked list can we basically convert it into a, or into one pass okay so let's see how we can optimize it okay so now what we will do we will take two pointer basically so this is your head okay so what we will do we will make a slow pointer so slow will also point at here and our fast pointer will also point at here okay so first step what we will do we will first find out the first basically we need two pointer first which will also start from head and we'll take a second which will also start from head so our first step is to first find that uh, basically that node which is from beginning okay so what we will do we'll go till k equal to 2 basically what we will do we will loop over till 1 is less than k so we'll go to here so what we will do we will check so this let's give this index 1 2 3 4 5 so we'll go one by one so we'll move our fast okay so our fast will now come at here now we can't move further because k is only equal to 2 so we have reached our location so we have reached our fast at this position so we'll update our first so first will now point to you can say fast so which is equal to 2 okay 
now after this this is the first step you have to go to this first location now the second step what you have to do is uh, you have to take your slow and fast at the same speed basically at like every you have to do is move your fast by one so fast will come here similarly your slow will also come at here so we'll move till fast is not equal to null so we'll move again fast okay again we move our slow so slow will come at here we'll again move our fast and we again move our slow okay after this our fast dot next is equal to null so whenever our fast dot next is equal to null we just stop there and we got the slow pointer so wherever the slow pointer is pointing this will be our you can say our second so this is pointing to slow so this will point to four after this what you have to do you just have to take a swap function and you just have to convert this first and second okay so like it will be more clear if we write the code for this so basically it's a simple straightforward implementation question so let's take a slow pointer which will also from head let's take a fast which is also head and let's take a first equal to head and let's take a second equal to head okay so first step is to update your first okay first pointer so what we will do basically while uh, let's do a for loop for and and indexes is from one so one to i less than k i plus plus will update our fast okay so fast will move by this way okay so we have reached uh, update our fast so we will need to update our first pointer so first equal to fast now we'll update our second okay how we will update so we'll move both so basically fast dot next is not equal to null we'll move both fast and slow at the same speed fast dot next and slow equal to slow dot next so after you reaching fast dot next is equal to not null so you will update your second the second will point to slow and after that you just have to swap the value so you will do end temp equal to first dot value and first dot value is equal to second dot value then you will do second dot value equal to temp so this is the swap function that you have that we will write and after that we just return the head okay let's run it okay let's see and sorry for the voice actually not well so this is accepted let's submit it so our code is submitted and as you can see we are only go in one flow only like we are not calculating the length then we calculate the tail so we are going only in a one pass only so it's a order of n time complexity you can say and space we are just using a constant pointer so it's a order of one for the space hope you like it thank you for watching my video